What's that thing at the bottom there? Uh, can you please zoom in? Is that a Victor Gorgia? Or what? Oh, it is a little Victor Gorgia. Yeah. yeah. Or is it? Victor Gorgia. Victor Gorgia with okay. some right. of your rights associated. Thank you. Just looks Come a little more delicate. Apparently, the chat um, is saying they tried to name the last watch the Dumbo Crew. <laughs> oh, they <laughs> missed. <laughs> they saw two of them. Two? two. Nice. Yeah. yeah. They saw like a tiny one at like about five o'clock, and then they saw the huge one when we were all watching the sunset. No, I was watching the watch. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't miss any of them. Uh, but then it a couple was so of cool. us saw a shark off the side of the Yeah, that's I missed. That there wasn't much to see. Just a fin and a blob. Fin blob. Fin blob. A blob fin. A blob fin shark. Gauge check finished. All right. Is it just me or am I sounding a little louder? Nope. You can adjust your side tone by top hitting this button up here and cranking it up. So you sound louder. On the keypad, yourself. upper right hand corner. Yeah, I click the, what is it, the three button. Oh. And then the top dial will adjust your volume. Oh, okay. To yourself. And it should be set for about minus 15 to 18. Okay. What's that on the rock? Is that a hole? Is that a, it looks like a hole. Cool. Oh, we have got to look in there. All right, hole. Dave, can you zoom in on this hole? <laughs> zoom in on the hole, Rob. Rob, any thoughts about the hole? There's got to be all the way through because wow. there's a coral in there, right? Yeah, oh. Could be part of a collapse pit or a gopher hole. Be gopher. Yeah. What about an aquasquatch hole? Yeah. They're bigger than that, though. Yeah, they are. Baby aquasquatch? Can I get front porch, please? I love how the coral's oh. in there, oh, though. Oh, I tried to... Never mind. Yeah, yeah, Roger. It's camouflage. I already did front porch, but the Out UI wasn't all the right. places Thank you. it can grow. <laughs> uh, okay, come wide, please. I'm not stable enough. Oh, this is gonna be a shift of bouncy zooms with this current. Whoa. The fish and Herc will be swimming backwards. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Are the squiggly bamboo corals and the straight bamboo corals different kinds, or are they just growing different? There are different kinds of them, uh, but this, uh, this spiral growing, I think it's not like a character of each group. Get a chance to zoom in on the Victor Gorgia and the other, just for the pretty so. pictures. I'm kind of at the end of my leash, but we can okay. wait. Okay, I mean, fine. if you're there, don't worry. No problem. We'll get there. So, for those big um, bamboos that are curling at the top, do do you think they grow straight and then start to curl, or do you think they curl and then grow straight? I think there uh, it depends. Uh, it grow straight but uh, it depends on the current and other factors they oh. start to, to okay. do this yeah all right let's start with this one on the right here can you zoom in there please Which not it's a little tiny victor gorgia tiny yeah. like victor, Gor victor gorgia is it a dead a sponge is a dead walteria Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of like here to the left, which is that. Sim Sim. Where are we here? Right there. Oh, that's a nice deep one. Two of them. Yeah. Cool. That one looks toppled over. Looks like the top's been snipped off by some coral cutters. <laughs> <laughs> and then one more to the left was right here. This big yeah. one. Hey, they said no one's explored this place before. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, you can really see the current on these. Yeah. Mm, yes. Okay, thank you, Dave. It's been a very nice dive. The previous watch. 
they spotted two Dumbo octopus and uh, the worm oh, yeah, uh, the comments worm. along the black coral was also the coveted worm collected and pretty nice things. I mean, this whole dive has been pretty like, there's been a lot from the beginning. We started yeah. at uh, 2,000 meters and we're working our way up to about, I think, 1,300, 1,300, right? Yep. That, that's about what the peak is. Beautiful. Hello. Hey. So we're kind of close, but are we kind of going, we're, we're not going to the peak right away? No, we are continuing on. Waypoint is our last waypoint along the edge of this uh, slump scar. Okay. And then we'll kind of go overland a little bit, probably a little flatter, maybe a little more sedimented to the uh, the little mesa with a peak on top of it. I've been warned to not get any closer to the edge of the cliff because apparently it's really hard to get back up. The current just pushes the vehicle down, oh, sucks really? it down okay. under. So. No, that's fine. There's plenty of things to see here. Yeah. <laughs> Looks Look like our dive track will bring us in a good spot anyway. So. Yeah, in the cinema cam, there's so many of the tall... Curly corals. Yeah. I wonder if they, they are curly because of the current here is very strong and they grow that way. Someone in the chat said the curling actually maximized the surface area for catching things. That's interesting. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. Could also be vortex shedding. What? Yeah. Where like the fluid goes over a rigid thing and uh, oh, it'll great. start it's flopping like in the in the breeze, but the curlies or the irregularities can break up that fluid flow. Mm. It's a little cool. less harsh. That's engineering right there. Yeah, I don't know if it <laughs> translates oh to biology, but it's uh it's got the big E word. Until we invent, um, like, a human coral translator, we'll never know for sure. Steve is pretty close, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, keeping the delta pretty low here. That's great, yeah. Roger. So which direction is the cliff in relation to us? Is it to the left or to the right? Why don't you take that one on? Which direction is the cliff from us? It's actually almost behind us now. Yes, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the water's flowing pretty much directly off the edge of the cliff. So we're flying into the current now? Yeah. I mean, we're actually transiting parallel, oop, perpendicular to the current, but I can't look the way we're going because I don't have strong enough laterals. Yeah. And we're still kind of like on the rim of that ice cream scoop landslide. Yeah. Okay. Ice cream scoop. <laughs> we still have five days till ice cream. We just had ice cream. <laughs> I wonder if there's chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, don't even say that. Don't get my hopes up. As long as it's not mint chocolate chip. Yep, I'm with yeah. you on that one. Ooh, but mint right chocolate there. chip is good. Mint chocolate chip's the best flavor. Annabelle, so. Stephanie, we've discussed this. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we don't want to reopen this topic. <laughs> the ones are still fresh. Move to table the subject. <laughs> Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Motion carries. So much for new business, old business. <laughs> is that uh, Robertson's rules of order there? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Just keeping in mind that move to adjourn is always in order. <laughs> Robert's rules, yeah. Here's one. Besides mint chocolate chip, what flavor would each of us most want? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay. Vanilla. 
I like um like the double chocolate brownie, like you know, a chocolate with like fudge and brownie in it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, here's a kind of controversial take. Anyone else like Tiger Tiger? What's that? Like no orange, idea. orange, uh, crush and black licorice. Yeah. Um, no. I like licorice. I'm saying no. <laughs> and orange, but I don't Hard know if pass. I like them together. Great. I don't like black licorice. And you won't like Tiger Tiger. No, I will not. I'm a big fan of pistachio. Same. Ah. Pistachio is delicious. Cherry Garcia. That is also an amazing flavor. Mm. Who's Jerry Garcia? Guitarist? Who, who was Jerry Garcia? Who was Jerry Garcia? I yeah. know that name. Guitarist for the Grateful Dead. That's right. One of the founders of the Grateful Dead. So is Cherry Garcia anything to do with that? Yep. Ben and Jerry's? Uh. You mean uh, generic mixed oh. ice cream pint brand? <laughs> From Vermont? <laughs> Shrimp. Shrimp. Um, a chat from Germany uh, wished us all a virtual coffee to fight off any sleepiness. Thank oh, you. Thank you. I'll take it. Ooh. Coffee flavored ice cream? Ooh. No. Ooh yeah. yeah. Don't like it. <gasps> uh, With fudge on it. If it's got chocolate in it, maybe. Yeah. What about like a mocha flavor? Yeah. Totally. Um, My wife's no. favorite. The, yeah. the fish food flavor from, I think, Ooh, ben what? and Jerry's. What? <laughs> That's Ben and Jerry's, yeah. Yeah, I like I like ice creams that make me feel like I'm digging for dinosaurs. Like I'm on an archaeological dig, can digging can for like. Yes, yeah, so we can zoom. Yeah. Please. Look at that squatty. Uh, okay, Dave, go ahead. Okay, so this is the Stylus, uh I would like to get. Okay, come wide, please. Let's see what and we can I'm do here. Annoyed. Pulling up on Delta? Uh, probably can't right now. Roger. So they yeah, escape very easily. All right. Mm, maybe so the best strategy would be slurping yeah. from from his from backside. his back. Exactly. Yes. You're you're amazing. <laughs> as long as I can land close <laughs> enough, we'll see what I can do. Mm -hmm. Should I stand by on the ship? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. be, yeah, you can stand by. Be, be very quiet. We're sneaking up on it. Okay. Can I have bubble and craft, please? Roger. Downlight and on as well. Great. And, and then the camera thing, please. And for this Roger one, we can that. use jar number two. Jar number two. Alrighty. You can line that up. Uh, okay, there it goes. Come on, jar. How much suck? Uh, nothing yet. Let's, uh, ooh, not if I let it go. How do you do this? Let me not drop a weight either. <laughs> <laughs> what a disaster. Here we go. Okay. Got my life sorted out. So, let's have a zoom in, please. See what this puppy's all about. It's not a puppy, it's a lobster. That's true. Good point. Uh, can we get more zoom, please? Oh, his backside is facing away from us. That's yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I'll see what I can do. Can you come out a bit, please? We'll do 60% suction. Let's start there. Yeah, good there, Dave. Perfect. Suck is at 60. Okay. Ooh. A battle of wills. Can't get his backside. Oh, come oh. back. Come wide, Dave. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll, be, we'll oh. see more. <laughs> All right. We'll see more. Thank you. <laughs> Just in case. That's uh, not counter chickens Maybe yet. Maybe close. Can you yeah. turn off the suction, please? Suction is off. Thank you. Is it in the coral right there? Or is it gone for life? He's Can you gone. do a snap zoom on this coral, please? Yeah, he's okay. gone. Okay, <laughs> come wide, please. Yeah. We'll see more. It was definitely in a strategic location with a 
A little butt tucked into the coral there. <laughs> All right, I need to put this away and then move along. Coming up on Delta. Please do, yeah. Let me know when we should start moving again. Yeah, stand by. This is not going well. Oh, this current is a lot. Down light off. So we didn't get the squat? No, but there will be more. There will be more. There'll be more. Here's hoping. A good question in the chat. Do the animals that live so deep that there's no sunlight have some sort of synchronized sleep schedule? Like on the surface with nocturnal, diurnal animals? Or do they just sleep as they please? Ooh, good question. I don't know uh, if invertebrates sleep, but I have seen fishes sleeping. You think they just sleep whenever though? I don't know deep sea, eh, about deep sea fishes sleeping, uh, to be honest, but uh, shallow water species, they sleep at night. And if you dive with the scuba diving gear, you can see them mm -hmm. quiet. But uh, yeah, I guess the deep sea species should also sleep. All right, bubble on porch, please. Roger. And you can rotate the suction jars back. Roger that. Paula, is this a good elevation for you, altitude? Uh, it would be better a little bit lower, but... Yeah. So As far my concern with being lower is I'm not really looking where I'm going. I'm kind of lateraling, which okay. means I might plow over some of these corals. Oh, okay. So I kind of like to stay a little higher, unfortunately. But if there's anything you want to zoom in on, I can drop down and then come back up. Perfect. No problem. That's great. Yeah, when I was in high school, I worked at a place that scooped ice cream. And for the longest time, it took me old. I couldn't really eat ice cream again. Ditto. Why is that? I sick of it? Yeah, just sick of it. And not that I ate it when I worked, but it just the whole thing. I ended up getting a, a really odd muscle on my uh, bottom of my forearm, too. That <laughs> Especially if you're trying to scoop uh, from a big two-gallon yeah, that's, that's what we had of ice cream that hasn't come to scooping temperature yet. Yeah. Because you, know, you keep it in the freezer, and then you bring it out and rotate it out. Did you I scoop too, ice cream, Dave? I, too, scooped ice cream in high school. <laughs> yep. I ended up looking like a fiddler crab there for a while with one big arm. <laughs> <laughs> but you come you come away from the, you know, at the end of your shift, and you're, you're covered in ice cream of all flavors, you know, all the way up to your elbows. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it splatters on your <laughs> shoes and, you know, and that kind of stuff. And I then, can see getting sick of that. Absolutely. Yeah, and then whipped cream cans, when they get down to the end, all of a sudden go and sprat, splatter whipped cream all over, uh, that kind of stuff, yeah. Sticky mess. I hated making milkshakes because they always exploded. <laughs> Did you do hand scooped milkshakes? Yeah, I hand scooped, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did too. We had soft serve and we'd make milkshakes that way. Yeah, we didn't have soft serve. Huh? Ice cream. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was several years uh, before I could eat ice cream again. We had ice cream yesterday, right? Yeah. Sorry. Got Two a mushroom ago. coral down here too if you get time to zoom. In high school, I scooped mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, chat has a pro tip heat the scoop between scoops. <laughs> like, warm it up. Uh, zoom in on the mushroom coral, please. Oh, 
That's a healthy one. Beautiful. Great, thank you. All right, thanks. Yeah, that is indeed a pro tip. Uh, we had several scoops and they uh, sat in a, uh, a little container that had constantly running warm water. Uh, and so you grab a scoop. And, uh, I definitely think it's something that like ice cream shops and stuff know, but I feel like the common folk don't really think of it too often. Uh, yeah, I have a professional style scoop uh, that has uh, liquid inside of it. Please the Panoda 5.0 meters. Inside the scoop? What's that? In, inside the scoop? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Whoa. It's cast aluminum, uh, and inside the scoop there's uh, antifreeze, and you uh, tip what? it up and hold it in your hand to warm it up, and Wait, you the warmer liquid goes down. Are you serious? Yeah, serious. Absolutely. Crazy. I've had the same ice cream scoop for 40-some years. Oh, my God. Never had to change the antifreeze? Uh, it's all sealed up. <laughs> I hope so, I guess. Chat wants to know what we expect to find or sample on this dive. What have we sampled so far? We have uh, sampled rocks <laughs> and also um, corals, uh, black corals with associated worm. Sea stars. Sea, sea stars, stars. Couple sea stars. Sea pen, little fishy. A sea pen uh, in the genus um, so, uh, Ambelula. Mm -hmm. What else? A lot of corals, a lot of Chrysogorgia. Uh, we already said squat lobsters, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of an, a pair of moose today. Yeah, we are fine. We here. are looking for new species, um, expansion of distribution oh, ranges, and new associations of symbiotic. For instance, parasitic species, commensal species, and so on. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that jelly. jellyfish. Jellyfish. There's the edge. Ooh. Oh, quick goodbye, jellyfish. That's completely not the right way to be going. <laughs> but I wanted to see what it looked like. Yeah, that's why the current's so fast here. It's very fast. Ooh, the drift. Yeah. Ooh. I'm pulling you, fighting the current. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. What would you rate it on a current scale? Lots. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. A knot of current, maybe? Like, it's a lot of current. Herc's max speed is about a knot and a half. Eh, ish. Kind of, maybe two, but probably not and a half, and I'm barely creeping ahead here. That may, may explain why there's so little sediment here, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I gotta not pull that lant anymore. I'm gonna go back this way. Remember when we earlier, on the earlier watch, when we were like more in the ice cream scoop? Um, the sediment was kind of going in like a zen garden every which way. Is it because like the current goes over it and then kind of like swirls inside of it? And that, that would make sense for the zen garden look. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense to me. It's kind of what we were feeling too. Even throughout this dive randomly it'll pick up and be like, whoa. I've heard the other shifts got blown off the wall a couple times too. It's been, been a bit of a battle. Yeah, even when you're not pulling on me, I get blown sideways occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> you see that in the occasional USBL hit. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to shout out um, uh, Chad's ice cream eating order real quick. Um, a, a super chatter, Jason. Uh, said coffee with vanilla ice cream, hot cocoa, and chocolate syrup because that sounds real good. Jason is in the ROV. Um, no, the I ROV think wrote in. <laughs> <laughs> My go-to thing at home is an affogato, affogato, which is espresso over ice cream. 
I thought you were trying to say avocado. It's <laughs> pronouncing it weird. No, I'm deathly allergic to avocados, so I don't like those. Oh. But I like avocados. Um, there's something that called a Australian coffee that they sell at this ice cream place by my friend's house. Um, the dude that opened it is Australian, and it's it is coffee with like vanilla ice cream in it. I think. I like root beer floats. Yum. Oh yeah. I like beer floats. <laughs> really? I don't think I've ever had one. <laughs> Have to try it now. I don't know that I'd want to. No, I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is a thing, though. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? I, I don't know if it's a good thing. Yeah, but would you? Like I've seen it done with stout. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. I, it's not something I've tried. I, it just does. It's crossing the streams as far as I'm concerned. Milky beer? Yeah. Ooh. Mm, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys already, but um, coffee in uh, lemonade. Have you tried it? That mm. does not sound like something I would expect, no, it's but. Really good. I try anything twice. It's good. Same with, um, I heard coffee and orange juice is really good too. I've also heard that and never tried it because it seems not. We have oranges right. and we have coffee. <laughs> One way to find out. Hmm. Yeah, but it's not the same. Like the orange juice we have is like literal juice from an orange, not. As opposed to what? I don't know, <laughs> like the, the, the more sugary stuff that they mass produce in Florida. They do have some orange juice containers. Well, the thick and beverage. Don't we have juice? Yeah. thick juice? Yeah, yeah, we do have the beverage. thick juice. <laughs> Is that thick juice for somebody who's severely dehydrated, or? I think it's for people that have difficulty swallowing. Okay. Why we have it, I have no idea. We have like three things of it, right? Yeah, it's but like a big stockpile of them too. So if you run out of one of those three, then they'll. No. Think it's oh, it's it was on all the last oh cruise yeah. too. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's been on. And the one before that. Yep. Rumor said it was accidentally purchased. I would, I would, I think that's probably true. Yeah. Has anybody tried it? I have once and not again. Um, I think okay. Karen <laughs> did, but she didn't know it was thick until she poured it. <laughs> and she no. poured it and she like looked at me and I was like, it's thick juice. Like it's supposed to be like that. And she like made this gross face and then drank it. And I asked her, and she was like, it tastes like apple juice. It's just thick, thick. like yogurt. Okay. Like yogurt thick? Yeah, is that it thick? Is. No. It's thick. I don't <laughs> know if it's that thick, but it's thick. It is. I poured it by mistake once, and <laughs> I thought, I looked at it, and then I thought, oh, you obviously have to add water. So I added water, and then I just had chunks of apple gelatin floating <laughs> in the water. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but oh, I didn't drink it. I it's proper at thick, it. then. Okay, gross. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Nav. Yeah, we have some ripples in the sand again over here. Not surprising with this current. Mm -hmm. Can we please step another five zero meters? Same, same. Chat says thick, juicy. Thanks. Mean a smoothie? No, it's no. not blended together. It has like a special thickening thing in it. Take like picture jam and picture fruit juice and. Find somewhere in between those two. Exactly. Isn't thick water also a thing? Hmm. Dehydrated. Is thick water a thing? I mean, if there's thick juice. You just boil it down a bit, then you get. <laughs> <laughs> Let it evaporate a little. Well, there's a really cool thing behind me. Let's see if I can get to it without plowing it over. I believe in you. I don't. You can do anything you put your mind to. Oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> Maybe just more of these 
Spr oh, spreading. there was a, a worm ballet in the cinema cam just now. Oh yeah, just four of these swirly ones. Oh, look at all these. We have another squad. Oh, another squad. Another colleague that escapes easily. <laughs> you want to try to slurp it? If you think it's uh, possible, uh, depending on the current and your yeah. uh, and your opinion. Let's try it. Can you set up all the things, please? Yeah, we're, Roger, we're making really good uh, time here. Things being set up. Right. Uh, are we in jar two again? That should be the things. Okay. How much suck? Nothing yet. Wait till I get out there. Roger. Is it gonna be too far away? Probably. Can you tilt bubble down a bit, please? So I can see the tape on the... Should we That's change way the too far away. Oh, no, I don't think I'm going to be able to make that. Can we zoom in, please? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make that. Never mind. Come wide. Um, hmm. No worries. We will find more. Yeah. Let me look around really quick here. Can I? No, I can't I can't land the other way because I'm down current. Yeah, I do not think we can reach this one, unfortunately. No, no worries. Okay. Shrimp. Shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp. <laughs> Get in there. Why won't you go in there? Uh, can we zoom in this uh, paramurise in the base of the... Um, on if the you can do it, Dave, you can go for it. I'm not lined up because I'm not looking at that camera right now, but oh, get in there, you little rascal. Watch your delta, please. Okay, Roger. thank you. Okay, come wide, please, Dave. Bubble on porch. All right. Down, light off. Thank you. Watching delta. I really want one of those squat lobsters now. <laughs> oh, is that a little fish in Atalanta? Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. It's swimming. All right. Back Looks out like in front here. Deal, maybe. Too far in front. Let's see if we can get it. Ooh, fishy, fishy. Oh, there it goes. So the difference between Victor Gorgia and Paramuriceite uh, that are both purple color is the um, uh, white axis ah. for the Victor Gorgia, as Steve says. Under okay. the polyps. Mm -hmm. Like this one dead center might not be Victor Gorgia. Yeah, the, the last one it was a, a coral in the family Paramuriceida, and the difference with Victor Gorgia is is all uh, Zoom in, please. purple. Victor Gorgia is all purple. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. uh, Paramuriceida. So this one is not Victor Gorgia. Well, maybe I can't tell. It seems all all purple, right? Yeah, but if you compare it, just if you pan left and up, there's another. Looks more like Victor Gorgia. Uh, come out a little bit, please, Dave. Indeed, the 
the most, oh, I see there. Yep. The most common species we are finding, I think, is um, Victor Gorgia alba. Okay, come on, and please. Alba comes from white. Thank you. Yep. Cool, thanks. Why, why do we look at the Victor Gorgias so much? Are we like looking for something specific when we yeah, look at them? Yeah, that would be a um, target for potential associations, mm -hmm. um, for potential new species as well. Okay. Come down on species Delta, please. That are not Roger, uh, coming down collected on Delta. in this area, for instance. Look at those ripples. Yeah, those interesting designs. Bleach north. Can we step another five zero meters? Oh. Same, same. What is that? It's large. Yeah, is That's that a hemi coral? Thanks. The ultimate coral. It's the boss. Let's check the base out yep. with lasers here. If I can do it. Quick. There it is. You get one frame of it. <laughs> Gotta watch the replay. Uh, this is really cool. Or a bamboo. Oh boy. Uh, bouncing around a lot on at Atlanta. Yeah, you are. I, I suppose there's not much I can do about that. Not really. Roger. Unless you can learn to control the weather. Roger. <laughs> Exercise for viewers at home. Learn to control the weather. Now, as far as getting the tether on top of Atalanta, the thing to do is I will stretch out less. So I'm going right. to wait here for you to catch up. And I'll try to not get as far ahead. That beautiful picture. Oh. I think we have another. It's a big coral. Mm -hmm. I think that coral is taller than pretty much everyone here. <laughs> it's as tall as Herc. Taller than me for sure. Yeah, Herc <laughs> is taller than me. I think it's a bamboo. Herc is taller than everyone on board. Look, there is another colleague here. <laughs> I think it's a very bad spot, but... Yeah, it's a little too high, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. It's too tall. Too tall. My main complaint about this coral is that it's too tall. That's gorgeous, though. Can cool. you zoom in on Atlanta again? Hydroid on it, too. Sure. Good Atlanta highlight, you think, Dave? Well, if the tilt doesn't run away. <laughs> it's okay, they'll get screenshots or something. Yeah, her can fit underneath this coral. Wow. 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 Were we saying we thought it was a bamboo? Yeah. All right, a pycnogonid. It has a sea spider. It did? Yes. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Oh. I gotta go up and over this thing. It's amazing how thick the main branches on that coral were. Thick juice branches. <laughs> the size of my wrist. Yeah, that was a big one. Wow. I gotta go up and over instead of around because the tether would get caught on it. It's wild. Is that a tube worm in the sand or a worm tube or? This one? Yeah. Uh, we can far away zoom there, please. Sea pen? Sea pen. That's a big one. Yeah. Cool. Okay, thanks. Thanks. 
Chat wants to know what would, what would an estimated age of a coral that big be? One centimeter per year. So old. That's over 200 years. It's two meters. Yeah, a hurt could fit underneath it, so that might have been three meters tall. It could be more because maybe the species grow slowly, right? Because of the available the when you food say source and if it's like a branching coral and it's growing one centimeter per year, does every branch go one centimeter? Good question. Or is it growing from like the base up? That's a good question and I don't know how to answer <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they grow faster or slower based on how much food there is. Yeah, I guess so. I've and you can see uh, if you study the the um, phenology, you can see uh, which years they had less food or more food. Can we zoom here, please, Victor Gorgia? Is there a squatty on there? Nope. It's just a star. Okay, thank you. Nice. Good. Is that the primnoid back there? Is that a... Primnoid? This dive is my best so far. Oh, <laughs> I agree. Although, I, we did see the chana cops on this one, right? So, yeah. We saw the baby chana cops. The baby chana cops, yeah. That was nicely done, Annabelle. Thank you. Yeah, keep doing that. We're, we like getting hero shots on uh, <laughs> on Amaletta, so as long as it doesn't mess with uh, your other piloting, feel free. Roger that. small fish here. Small fish. Or something there floating. Oh yeah, that is very small. Is it a shrimp? Could be a shrimp, yeah. Let's zoom on this one please. Shrimp. Floaty. It's very far away, but there's big corals underneath me. I can't really come down. That's fine. It's a fish. Fish, yeah. It's official. <laughs> That's really good. And That's a really sea on the, on the right. <laughs> That's a fish. All right, thank you. Thank you. Do you have any interest in grabbing a rock here? Me? Yeah. yeah always. Let's do it. Let me scout a landing. I think I can fit right there. Uh, uh, hmm. You need to pal parallel park it? Yeah. No kidding. Oh. Yeah, Can we, we zoom that? Uh, we can rock sample or zoom. Zoom. Oh. I heard zoom first, so. Is that okay, Rob? You're yeah, all right that's with fine. That Go ahead. Okay. Let's uh, get a zoom on here, please. We, we got rocks everywhere. I was going to say, I think do, the rocks yeah. aren't going to go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's on the back side of it. Is that the one where we're trying to sample? Yeah, there's one right behind that we thought. 
Hey, come wide, please. Let's see if I can nestle in here. Thank you. Did you want to sample it or do you want it to not? The sponge, no. Okay. Let's sample the rock. Okay, I gotta move again yeah, first. We're, and then we'll we're trying to get situated to sample a rock. Yeah. Like it moving? Sure, yeah. <coughs> what if I go just in the left, bottom left corner of the screen right now? Yeah, let's do that. Try and land near this sandy patch. One of those look okay to you? Yeah, anything up in there would be good, I think. Up in there, okay, around here. Please, what yeah. about the closer one below the lasers now? Yeah, let's do that too. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah please, let's step on another five zero meters. Same, same. Like, uh, thanks. Just below the lasers. Yeah, right those. I think those there. are small enough. D you know, down in there. Yeah. Okay. Try and tuck in here. Okay, let's try some starboard vertical securing. Let's see if it fits in starboard F. Okay, I've heard there's a floaty thing in there, so I've turned off my starboard vertical. There don't is. Don't suck it out. Yeah. Bubble on craft, please. That's perfect. There's a Roger. floaty thing in E. Okay, which one are we going for, Rob? Can you circle it, please? Uh, uh, let's, let's try that one. I mean, sorry there. Yeah, understood. The one that's just out of reach. Perfect. That's what I meant. Hmm. Hmm. Let me scoot. If you want to yeah. bonk. annotate that are multiple Uroptychus. Right now I just have to focus on the but I'll get it in there. Okay. One more this. time. Can you circle again? Oh, sorry. That one right there. Thank you. Squat lobsters everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. It's not too thin for you. Can I look at it real quick? Yeah, sure. Let me grab it again. Okay, zoom in, please. Yeah, it's maybe a little too thin. Yeah, you don't want it? No. Pull wide, please. <gasps> what about that? But what? If, if, it's out of, if it's not out of reach, if there's one up there. Uh, that's probably out of reach. Yeah. yeah. Any of these ones? You can try it. Oop. It might be welded. Yeah. Now, there's one above it. It's a little big, though. Yeah, this one's pretty big. It might fit. <laughs> it'll fit in. It'll fit in. E. Well, is there anything in E? Yep. Uh, this isn't, you know, a high priority area. I'd rather save a big one for elsewhere. Sounds good. Right. Is it possible to be positioned for up here? Uh, no. I think we got to go now. Okay. Go ahead. We have time. Yep. We can just zip ahead one or three vehicle lengths, and then uh, maybe it. fifteen vehicle lengths, and then we can do another spot. Fish. Landing anywhere where the lasers are and beyond is good, so we'll call it out when you want it there, Rob. Okay, let's shoot over here. Over there, sounds good. Looks target rich. Target rich and great landing spot. My starboard vertical is still secure, which means any down means I roll. Whee! <laughs> yeah, it may, might even be better up here, I don't know. Those are called welded. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I can reach there. I got some yellow things on them too, if that's a good do or bad thing. Do you uh, want me to unsecure the starboard vertical? They'll be fine. No, I'm coming in. Roger. Sample it again immediately. Any one of these ones are fine with you? The center one, maybe? Yeah, let's go with that one. Just to the left of the shrimp? Yep. 
you want me to give you a little delta? Yep. Oh, Mike is gosh. big, but Roger. there's no cut either one of those up there, too. Let's try it out. Try it on for size. Keep coming down on Delta, please. Roger. Ooh, ooh. More vertical. Good gravy. There we go. Oh dear. Take two. I mean, I'm only going to take one, but you know what I mean. Okay, Dave, please zoom. And Annabelle, you're still good, but keep an eye on that delta. Roger. Does that one look okay? Yeah, or that, is it that'll too work. Thin? That's, that's fat enough. Okay. Come wide, please. Those stars in that coral are going for a wild ride. Data, and this is 87, right? Yeah, this is 87. Thanks. Can you remind me which box you would like this in? Starboard F, please. F is in Foxtrot, okay. And do you want the sampling coral server? is in E. Uh, yeah, we'll do sample salvo. And the floaty's in E? Yeah. Okay, stand by on opening it, not yet. Potential floaty. Let's try Only if the thrusters this. are on, I was told. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go. You can open the box now. All my thrusters are off. I mean, all, everything on this side, anyway. A little more? A little bit more. That good? Uh, should be good. Let's try that. Oh. Oh, yeah. no. The rock that's in there <laughs> is It'll too go. big. She'll go. Oh, there it goes. good. Let's get that. Oh, do I want to do this? No, I don't want to do that. Maybe it'll go in when I close it. Yeah, try closing it. I can't reach around back there. There's sensitive stuff. Mm. Yeah, well, you're going to get as much as you're going to get with that. I can't root around on there, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Try yep. bumping it open now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and now close it. <laughs> You're gonna get some of it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Awesome. Really Let's stop, push it guys. Okay, dive salvo, please. Roger. Dive salvo on. Sample number, please. Sample 87. Thank you. All right. And delta. Delta coming up. Yeah. Keep an eye on that while we're sampling. That's. Uh, Roger. It's easy to get distracted then, but. That's the one of the most important things. Keep moving at it. Yep. Mm. Yeah, that's probably the last rock sample I'll need for our watch. Sounds good. Bubble on porch, please. Roger, bubble on porch. Let's step another five zero meters, please. Look at the ripples. Yeah, thanks. Okay, it looks like we're far enough away from the edge now. We've crept a little away from the edge that the current has slowed down significantly. Interesting. It's oh. getting focused right at that sharp edge, I think. That's like the, the hot spot of current. But the farther I get away and the lower I stay, it's uh, a lot. I mean, you can see it's less now. That's right. We saw very few sponges. Yeah, true. And, and this part with a lot of current. <coughs> Is that okay that we're, hey, there's a sponge. Is that okay that we're this far from uh, oh, that, the ridge? Oh, fine. Cool. It'll definitely be easier to do sampling and, and video surveys, so. Oh, so let's take advantage. Yeah, see, absolutely. Um, see what we see, see in here. See what is on there. 
Yeah, I mean, we're doing really, really well on time and distance right now, so. Great, okay. Okay, can we zoom in there, please? Shrimp. Shrimp. Several of them, and some of your rights. Yeah. I got two shrimp. Ooh, its little legs are moving. All right, come on, Thank please. Thank you. So is it possible to go low and slow for yeah. uh, bio? I think so. Okay. I'm going to take a quick time out here. Can you go double super extra wide, please, Dave? Thank <laughs> you. Is it, is it time? It's time. Zooming in for this one. Thank you. Oh. Lighten the load. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Can I please put this in the forward box? Oh, forward box. Uh, That's a question for science first before I go for it. Yes, you can. You can put it in either one. Your choice. Okay. Would you like sea stars or corals? I feel like sea stars are less fragile, right. so I'll put it in the starboard side, in the <laughs> Omega. All right. There you go. Hi, buddies. Where are the stars? They're hiding at the back. <laughs> you can see oh. the legs of the oh, yeah, scared. <laughs> oh, poor stars. Hello, sea stars. You have a new friend. Oh! Oh, the little legs. Um, is the acrylic, is that a cl like clear acrylic separating the two sides? Yes. So they can just like see that scrumptious. Oh, <laughs> well, no. I guess they can't see, they don't have eyes, do they? Well, they are sea stars, so oh. they should be able to see. Oh my god. Oh no, is he coming out? <laughs> that was a good one. Does that hurt? Oh. Does that hurt? Did that would hurt? No. It, oh, okay. In fact, it gave right, me energy. Try not to pinch it. <laughs> oh, back in you go. Chat wants to know, the dive was officially extended, right? Like, we're going a it's bit longer official. now? Correct. Correct. Officially. Uh, Hoping for oh, like a... Terrible. Four... Terrible, terrible. Four a.m. recovery? So, yes. We are recovering at the... Local time. Local time, yes. Local time. Now, everybody okay. needs to guess which, which four we're talking about. All right, continuing on. Oh, I thought we'll be recovering on this shift. No, they extended it. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Um, that reminds me, I still am thinking of the magic word, if anyone says it. You oh. win. Point what, your like a sticker? Win. Oh, a sticker. Professional. So we have to guess the word that you've been thinking of for a while? Yeah, I, I've been thinking about it since the beginning of the watch. It has to do with you know, what we're looking at still. It's not professional. It's not professional. Mm -hmm. Current. No, you can't just like guess words. It just has to be said, you know? Oh, it just has to be said. Okay, okay. Mm. Is it ocean related? Yeah, it's it's like we'd, we'd probably say it while doing some sciencey things. Can we keep guessing <laughs> to narrow it down? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want. Sheet flows. Nope. Oh, is and remember I said it was kind of like a two-parter. Is it an garden. animal? What? You both said something at the same animal, time. Animal, vegetable, <laughs> mineral, I'm other, not giving you that much hint. <laughs> I said then garden. No. Mm. Coral cutters. No, but that's a good one. Cinema cam. No, that's also a good one. Is Still it bigger can. than a bread box? <laughs> can we <laughs> zoom Sometimes. here? Yes, we can. Math and bamboo. Uh, go ahead, Dave. Oh, that's a squatty. Yeah. Anybody in the lounge right now better be doing their squats. Yeah, two. There's two. Yeah, that's us three. also an impossible target, right? Nope. We can, we can get that one. Come wide, please. I can come the other side of this one now. Cause there was one that was closer, too. I don't know if it was the same looking one. 
see what I can do here. Ooh. Full lateral. Drift. Yeah, no promises, but we can absolutely try it. Is the word gauge check? No. No, but that's, uh, we'll do that right after the sample. Chat guessed Boitrioidal. Um, it was going to be that one, but it, it's not. <laughs> I thought about it. This coral is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's very, very large. What about this lower one? Can I sample this lower one? Um, Off to the right here. Uh, center screen top. Oh boy. Ooh. Delta, please. Yeah. Coming down on Delta. Can I get there? There's so many squats on this. Oh, I know. It's too big. I, I'm sorry. I can't do it. It is not going to reach that high. Okay. No problem. Yeah. That is much bigger oh. than I thought it was. Wow. Look, you're beautiful. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the, the spiral stem on that That's one. That's a really good spiral, yeah. Very tight. swimming in the porch can. Oh, cool, yeah. The way oh. they swim is otherworldly. Was it swimming or just kind of getting caught in it our was swimming. It was swimming. They, they swim. They drag, oh, yeah. if it's a five-legged one, they drag the fifth leg behind them. Oh. It's really I've weird. I've seen videos of them swimming before. Keep moving? So. Yeah. It was one of the ombre ones. Oh, the Boy, ombre. No. All right, I got to go over here now. Give us a hint with this word. No. Let's step another no. five zero meters. <laughs> same thing. Fine. Keep your finger. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Gauge check, please. Roger that. Gauge check. I know it's hard to remember. Glass sponge. It is 21.17. And we are at... 1,440 meters. All right. Increasing delta? Uh, no, you're, that's good. Oh, we're good? Okay. Yeah, I'm stretched out. 12 to 14 when I'm stretched out is good. Roger. We haven't seen many anemones up here. A lot of crinoids, though. With the yellow ones. Yeah. yeah. With fronds like these, who needs anemones? <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 that was really good. I like that a lot. <laughs> Is our official name Dad Joke Dad Joke Watch? Because I think it should be. Um, chat a, cu a couple watches ago, chat was really pushing for that. <laughs> That's that was a good one. Yeah, I like that. Good joke. I've been saving that for just the right time. That was that was perfect. <laughs> you had it stored, absolutely piled and ready to go. I got absolutely. the feeling he was letting it cook. <laughs> uh, I've used it before. Rob's heard it before. Yeah, I didn't even set it up on purpose. Can I get bubble on porch, please? Roger, <laughs> bubble on porch. Chat thinks the word is Venus flytrap. It's not. Does chat get to guess too? I mean, chat gets to guess, but I won't say if chat gets it until someone else gets it, unless no one gets it. But oh, that's a good another one. Another yeah. glass sponge. Is that another hole? Hole. Yeah, it is. A little collapse oh. too. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's a hole. There's a hole. Another Euplectilidae glass sponge. Unstocked. Gauge check complete. All right, thank you. See if you can get the next one before I do. There's something swimming in the cinema cam with Krenna. Uh, yeah, right. We got yeah, the it's up cam. in the corner, <laughs> closer to the top, right yeah. in the oh, middle. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's what coming into view it? now. Catch. Ooh. We can zoom on that, Dave. Jolly. It's, it's jelly. Fish. Wow. Well, that is a jelly, all right. That's a nice jelly. What type of jelly is that? Oh, it's like a, like a turban head. <laughs> is that a... Real no, that's what it says it looks like to me. Oh, wow. Whoa. It looks like a baby bottle. It yeah, does. it does. Yeah. Oh my god, look at it in the cinema cam. It's coming right towards us. Who are you? What are you? I'm going to try to line this up a little better here. Bye, buddy. Oh, stay happy. It looks like an acorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Can you zoom in just a little bit? See if I can get past that stuff? Yeah. All right, I'm getting close to corals now. I don't want to plow them over. Come wide, please. Uh, that was great. Yeah, did it have a coral in its mouth? It had like a curly looking thing, like... Could that have been its innards? Do, the, do in jellyfish its, have innards? In its little, like, uh... Whatchamacallit? Opening? Opening? Bell? Is bell the word? I don't know. I'm jellyfish expert too. The Medusa stage. Well, it didn't look like a polyp. Yeah, don't the jellyfish go through like a hydra's and then a medusa stage? Yeah. Yeah, um, there are different classes in the uh, cnidarians uh, or subphylum. I don't know which category, taxonomic category, but the uh, jellyfishes belong to the cephosoan category and the corals and to soa. Seapen. Seapen down there. Seapen, you want to zoom on it? Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, it's pretty flat Another, here, so. another Balticina. Go ahead, please. How do you spell that? Balticina. B-A-L. B. Oh B-A-L-T-I Urchin in the background C-I-N-A Okay Perfect Thank okay, you Okay, thanks As good as I'm going to get Unfortunately Thanks What's in this little yellow thing? These often high have little goodies in them Don't they? Mm-hmm <laughs> Little tasty treats. Yeah, do you want to zoom on some tasty treats, please? Yeah. Dave? We had dinner already, but I'm, I always get hungry on this walk. 
So in this case, would the crinoids be the tasty treats since they're on? I think something? so, yeah. All right, thank you. I don't think I'd want to eat a crinoid. Do I people think eat I'd crinoids? They don't look very tasty. Mm -mm. Is that a thing that people eat? Like, is there a fishing market for that? See, not for that, but yes, for sea cucumbers. Yeah, I did know that. Yeah. Do, do people eat sea stars? Enough. People eat sea urchins, and those yeah. are a kind of derms. Yeah, sea urchins. Let's slip another five zero. In Spain, six, we eh? eat sea urchins. People do eat starfish or sea stars. Thanks. Oh. Did you know that um, in Oregon, there's a push for people to use sea urchin shells as like fertilizer and agricultural <coughs> stuff? Uh, because there's such a sea urchin problem off the coast of Oregon. Eating the kelp forest. Yep. Because there aren't enough otters to eat them. There aren't any otters, if I remember. Nope. They're there's extinct. been one within the last few years, but it it um didn't stay. I mean, they're not extinct everywhere, they're just extinct in Oregon. Yeah, they're in California and they're in Washington, but they're not in Oregon. Uh, we got a floaty. Ooh, yeah, floaty coming from the right. Is that a China Cups? It's on the starboard side. Sorry, my mouth is full. It's, uh, pretty far in between Atalanta and Herc. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to see it. Oh. It looked like it was uh. closer. Well, certainly a lot less action here. Yeah. Less current and less life. Do you want us to keep going the same direction, or do you want to try to step back towards the edge? Let's step back toward the edge. Okay. Whatever you know, it's comfortable that, that happy medium of biology and control. Yeah. Can we do? Can we? Uh, hmm. Well, our next ship move. We'll just do like I don't know, 30 degrees more. Okay. Uh, east, please. Okay. Sure. Is uh, before that, it's possible to do a zoom here. Go ahead, Dave. Those are crinoids. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Annabelle, were you looking for that floaty? Yeah, I I saw it. It's like right under Atalanta right now, but it's kind of uh, not very visible if I zoom in on it. Yeah. It just makes you think about like how many things are swimming around like behind. I've us. seen so many fish in the Atalanta cam like this dive. Have you ever had any request of fish? I, I've never, you know, had the one to collect one. Trevor, have you guys had collected a fish? Yeah, on purpose or have a request for it? Oh, hmm. We've collected fish traps that uh, scientists have deployed at certain times when we pick them up. Have we? Have I sampled a fish? I don't think I have. Maybe one, but I don't think so. How would you even catch a fish? Maybe the slurp, but. Oh. Not easy. Yeah, I don't think I have. I definitely accidentally sampled a bunch, but that's different. <laughs> <laughs> Does the fish find the um, bio box and think it's like a safe place to hide, or? Mm -hmm. They more think it's safe to safe to hide inside the frame. 
<laughs> Is that a squatty? Is that a star of some kind? It's probably a star, isn't it? Yeah, probably a crinoid. Oh, a crinoid, yeah. There was a brief moment there that I forgot about the fish. <laughs> it's very blissful. Coming down on Delta. So is the magical word a noun or a verb? Not a verb. Okay. Squat spot. <laughs> <laughs> it was like almost said in the last watch, but it was like the wrong form. So if no one gets it, I'll just give it to the person that said it that form, but like it was the wrong way of saying it, you know? It's not what you said, but it's how you said it. <laughs> see the black corals either. What's this just uh, left of the lasers right here? Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking of too, but I don't think that's black coral. Want to zoom in? Just yeah, let's sure. zoom in. Just Go ahead. Shrimp in the cinema can. Shrimp. Nice tube there. Louis, no? <coughs> Please let's step five zero meters. Bearing one two zero degrees, zero point two knot. Roger, thank you. Hopefully, we should see more life now. Hope so. Just in time for the last waypoint. Have one more peek over, and then. Are we, are we inside some sort of crater or something? We're right on the rim of the ice cream scoop. It's like oh. a ridge, right? Can we, can we show the ice cream scoop on the, the satellite feeds to kind of tell people what we mean by the ice cream scoop? Yeah, let me zoom in out. Okay. Um. Does anyone want to talk about the ice cream scoop? Do you, do you have a ice cream of dulce de leche? The what? Uh, I don't know how it's... Rob, is that oh. good enough? Yep. Uh, yeah, like, uh, like dulce de leche. Yeah, it's something very typical. I don't think it's super common, but I've had it before. <laughs> but you, you know what is it? It's like the... Um, yeah. Ca like caramel. Yeah. Yeah, in the uh, satellite feed three, you can see uh, where all the numbers are, where we've been tracking. And just to the east of that is what we've been kind of calling the ice cream scoop, because it looks like a scoop of the side of the sea mount has been scooped away. And there's a good chance it's probably a, a mass wasting or a landslide event. That's what we're hypothesizing. But uh, yeah, we're going to just What's continue this? on a little bit farther to waypoint eight and then try to go to the top of this little uh, local high just due south of us. 
So are we facing into the scoop now, or are we facing we're facing, off the ridge? We're facing Dave, can you zoom in, please? just away from the scoop. Okay. Keeping an eye on my altitude. Uh, uh, Roger, great. Looks like they match the delta. It's actually a, little lower. a good few meters less. Yeah, cool. Okay, come wide. I thought that was something that it is not. Beautiful. <coughs> Cinema count. Really gorgeous. Dulce de leche is basically like caramel, but with sweetened condensed milk. Yeah, I've had that. Is the secret word brittle star? Nope. Nodules. Nope. But that's a good sea one. Sea lily. Nope. Squishy rock. Perhaps that's, a, that's a good one. We could but nope. check on yes, this Yes, we line. absolutely can. Uh, go ahead there, please, Dave. Cool, thank you. All right, thanks. Great cinema cam shot there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see the edge of the wall in Atalanta's view, 40 meters away. Yeah. Can I get a zoom in on this, please? Sure. If you're lucky. <laughs> Yeah, it's in the Herc cam now, too. There. You want to zoom on it? Yes. Yes. Go ahead, please. It's on a mission. It's going down. Beautiful Aridogorgia behind it. Yeah. Beautiful shot now. Yeah, that's a grenadier thing, I think. It has the uh, little spike on the head. Is it a Cuba or something? Uh, what was it called? Uh, yeah. All right, thank you, Dave. Cuba, something like that. Yeah, Trevor, I'm gonna call a, a little bit of an audible too. I think we just keep going past waypoint eight along this edge. Okay. And then once the next watch starts, they can probably make the way up okay. toward the top. Oh, is audible time. two? What does that mean? Pardon? You say audible two? Yeah, I mean what we're gonna do is it'll. You know, get to waypoint eight and instead of head, heading up to waypoint nine yeah i think we have time to continue along this on ridge. the ridge yeah, yeah sure i just didn't hear the audible two part or whatever okay. that, that was you got a c pen in there yeah you got a c pen zoom c pen zoom and zoom on the c pen All or right. something no it's not it's a coral uh all right, Dave, can you zoom on the non-C pen, please? <laughs> <laughs> this um, lateral view of uh, Prinoid. Whoop. Okay, I which, gotta go. Come wide, please. Which is often confused by a, as a C pen by a geologist. <laughs> Makes sense. There was more holes in the rocks. Lots of, uh, what do you call them, collapsed? I, no, these aren't necessary. What happens is you have the sheet flow kind of come out, pretty much cover everything. Mm. And uh, you get a hard carapace or top or crust on the top. And it's still molten below. And the molten material is still flowing away mm. down the slope. And it leaves uh, voids or air pockets behind it. And over time, the, uh, the crust breaks on the top. And then exposes the air pocket. Yeah, that's what's causing those holes. Same thing happens with the lava tubes. Mm 
they actually act like pipes sending the, uh, the lava farther down the mm -hmm. slope. And then when it drains free, there, there are holes there. There's like a lot of large lava tubes in, uh, in Washington. Yeah. I am, um, I went on a, a hike in Oregon that we walked through like a, a huge lava tube yeah. that was like a mile yep, around that's or something. And you know what? I thought I was safe from spiders in there and there was a <laughs> spider in there. You don't like spiders? No, I do not like spiders. So we should step back to <laughs> it's now or um, uh, no matter what I guess, I'm going to be wrong. So <laughs> um, let's do uh, let's do one halfway between those two. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Bridge now. Can we please step five zero meters bearing one three five degrees? Zero point two knots. Fish, Atalanta. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Top of the screen. Ooh, there it is. Fish. Done. It bounced, it left. Ah, it's gone. Yeah, we haven't seen a sponge in a while. Well, we have one Isn't here. Isn't that a sponge? Yeah. So I'm saying we haven't seen one in a while. I, I heard oh. Steve say. Oh, yeah. Fish. Let's get a fish and sponge zoom. Uh, yeah. I heard Steve ahead, saying on Dave. the last watch that um, he was surprised at how little sponges there were. Oh. Oh. oh sponge with a tunicate on it, maybe? Bought it. Yeah. Yeah. You have to pick one or the other. Fish. fish. Look at its spots. It's so pretty. Is that oh a cutthroat, you think? Are they usually white yeah, like that? That's the end that? of my leash, I think. Let's come wide, please. Lowering the delta a little. Yeah, and I'm going to see if I can find that tunicate. I thought it was a tunicate. I could be wrong. On the sponge? Yeah, on the sponge. Oh. Back it up. Us. Ooh. Am I wrong entirely? I'm wrong entirely. Never mind. <laughs> Is it a different sponge? Uh, likely. No, uh, I think but that's I think the same one. Yeah. Got a shrimp in it, though. There's a, a shrimp. shrimp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Zoom on the top the of the shrimp. sponge, please. Yeah, no, I was just wrong. That's fine. Shrimp. Cool. Um, if it makes you feel any better, Trevor, I thought there was one, too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not trapped inside, though. He's no. not, no. It looks like it wants to go inside. Yeah, trying to get in. Hey, hey, open the door. <laughs> Let him in. All right, do you want to do a bubble cam zoom and see if there's something else living in there? Sure. Can I have can, a moment. I can try. I don't. I don't see it on bubble cam. I'm getting over there. Oh. There you go. Look at this teamwork going on. Ooh. Ooh. Nothing. 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 Nada. Nothing. All right. I'm coming uh, Look at those great, shrimp antennas. I love it. Spot lobster lips. <laughs> uh, someone in the chat said, I know many reef fish can bleach their coloring when stressed. I wonder if the deep water fish can do the same. Is it the water fish come? Can, like, bleach when they're stressed, like, turn white when they're stressed. I honestly don't know. Haven't seen that before. Look this rock. Which rock? <laughs> <laughs> it 
has a ship uh, uh, shape. A ship shape. Ship shape. A ship yeah. shape rock. Ship shape rock. <laughs> <laughs> You were talking about going and uh, hiking in lava tubes and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I spent some time uh, hiking in lava fields over uh, on the Big Island. Uh, oh, and, yeah. and you can see all of these same features. Oh, you can really? see sheet flows, low bait, pillows, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's really quite amazing. At the first time that I'd gone out and seen this stuff, and then my wife and I were walking, uh, a trail through a lava field on the Big Island. I kept looking around, going, "I've seen all of this before." <laughs> it was just, you know, under the water. Um, Where is that? Where is the Big Island? But you kept asking to zoom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Big, uh, Hawaii. big oh, Island okay. is the Big Island in Hawaii. Oh, okay. Dave, oh, wow. have you been to the lava fields in Oregon? I have not. I've actually not traveled in Oregon all that much. Uh, they're they're real good too. So whereabouts are they? Uh, Eastern Oregon. Um, uh, but near Bend, like between yeah. Medford and Bend. Oh, okay. Which is not all that far away from where I live. And I yeah. Should, I should go. Can we over zoom there. here, please? You're in Florence, right? Yeah. Or actually, oh, wow. I should say like more e west oh, than no. Bend, like sisters almost. Yeah. So just on the other side of Eugene. Yeah. A bamboo. This little rascal is working left to right here, clearing off all the polyps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he missed a spot, buddy. Kind of right, like thank you. Kind of like eating corn on the cob. Oh, oh! <laughs> look, look, uh, the fish in the cinnamon cup. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no! Yeah, what? He, he bonked its head real nasty on a rock, like ran straight into <laughs> it. Oh. I was looking around panicking, like, what's well, broken? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was a bit emotional about that. I was like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? <laughs> it's like fishing gear. Oh, There's another fish bad. in the like What's that? going on? It's oh, a fish, fish bonk. <laughs> <laughs> fish Is that bonk. another cutthroat eel? What does it look like? I, it kind of looked like a cutthroat, yeah. We've seen a few fish bunks so far, but that's the saddest one I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm saddest. I'm like a little sad that I missed it, though. <laughs> so we'll keep doing in between? Yeah, let's do one more of that. Okay. Uh, what was the last bearing? One, three, five. Yeah, let's do one more of those, please, yeah. Uh, all right. Sounds good. Yeah, let's zoom on this one. Please. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead, zoom, please. The big old crinoid. Yeah. Yes, let's do five zero meters bearing one, three, five degrees. Zero point two, not thanks. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, I'm amazed something. you're getting that much control. To <laughs> it looks like there's also one of those um, anemones, just a little way up from the ones, the, like the purple spiky ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, right center. Yeah. Wow. Amazing how not purple it looks when I'm this far away, and then. Just get a little bit closer and the colors come out. Shows how fast the reds dissipate. Cool, we can zoom on that, please. Wow. Look at the color of that, that's wow. amazing. So which way is the current flowing? <laughs> yeah. It's a good indicator. Beach is that way. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. So we do we think nice that the shot. giant sea 
bee anemone, Thank you. a relicantha. It's a bit different in color from the one yesterday. There was one earlier today too, um, the purple one. <coughs> Chat says, has anyone visited the lava tubes in Lesson National Park? Um, I've been to Lesson, but I haven't, or Lassen, but I haven't been to the lava tubes. Uh, Maranke, chat said maybe Seranthid. Fish. How's that spelled? Uh, C. Seranthid? Uh, C E R I A N T H I D. Another fish? That just seems to be. Another. Yeah, that's Ooh. the, the Grenadier one. Yeah, so Seran. Tyranthidae is just the family of tube-dwelling anemones. Oh. So Relicanthus is under that. Okay. Thank you, Dave. And I'll line that up in the cinema cam just for fun. Oh, it's so cute. Also, if you looked in the sediment, there was like a almost completely buried uh, sponge stock. So that means it, it might have been there for a hot minute. Oh my god, look at its mouth. Oh. <laughs> cinema cam, channel three, everybody. Oh, it's gone. <coughs> there he goes back. again. Follow me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Not that close. Another beautiful red sea lily. Yeah, that's your favorite flower. Mm -hmm. My favorite flower. Oh, sponge. Yeah. I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, Look at this sponge. rock. Bigger Whoa. sponge. Oh, yes. I think we're at the edge of I the ridge. I think so, too. <laughs> Something tells me. Also, the current is... Ooh, there's a fish in the center Yeah, here. fish, fish. And Big fish. That's a huge slab of lava flow, too. Beautiful. So what I'm going dead angular? stick for a moment. We can watch what the current's doing, but it's really yeah. not much. We yeah. can sample it. <laughs> Very different. Giving you a little bit of delta so you can move around. Sure. Yeah, there's no current here. No current? Like, this is me not putting any inputs on the controls for Excellent. 30 seconds or so. That's Some one verticals. sharp rock. Yeah, that's a great... Weird. If only we could bring it up. It's like peanut brittle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can, uh, the next moves, we can step the That's other way. Okay. I don't think it would fit in our little rock Ziploc bags. <laughs> I don't think Lila would be happy with me. A uh, fish. fish. Yeah. There it is. There's our fish. I don't think I can reach it. Cut through it. No, Ew. I don't think I can reach it. And is that a shrimp? Shrimp. Shrimp. Shrimp count. Shrimp count. Shrimp tally. Shrimp. The shrimp tally. Do you guys want to hear what the shrimp tally is up to? Please. Yeah, dive? Totally. yeah. All right. 21. Nope. 48. Whoa. Whoa. Which is crazy because when we started on our watch, we did not see like any shrimp. We saw four. They have even more up here. I, I counted those. No, but then that when Oh, no. You know, <laughs> my brain is malfunctioning. You're a little behind on the way. Leave me in my data logger corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to shrimp count up there. Yeah. Whoa. I didn't want to like keep telling you to wear it on the whiteboard since you have to type literally everything that's going on. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot going on in this corner. <laughs> That's an incredible sheet flow there, too. You can see he's dead ahead. <laughs> he 
you see the thick layers of blows underneath that are horizontal? Yes. Yeah. And then you see the big sheet coming over on top of it, uh -huh. like icing. Well, that's a great shot. And we're kind of at the, at the base of that uh, little mini plateau, too. So it's probably emanating from there. And we're basically at waypoint eight, right? Yeah, we just passed it. And we kind of want to go to the peak or like the top of the scoop. Well, we're going to keep continuing around. And so yeah. you, you kind of see the high area here with the curve. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like the, the edge of this little mini volcano where I think that's on the top. Yeah. So I'm thinking more and more that that feature is a, uh, a volcanic feature rather than a uh, carbonate reef. So, what would the theory on guillots be if it was Is volcanic and not Ambalula? carbonate? I think so. Ooh, Umbalula. Umbalula. Let's have an Umbalula zoom, please. Beautiful nice. Umbalula. Yeah. Oh, it's quaking in its boots. Don't worry, pal. We're not sampling <laughs> it. <laughs> it sees the one in the jar. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Annabelle, that's, you know, the. The theory for geos, if they're not capped by reefs. Oh, bonk. I mean, that's one of the things Wait, I've kind of been working on. Thank you. Wow. And it could be just that these are sea moths that have a flat top with volcanics, you know, either when they originally formed or maybe when it was a later stage when you have these, uh, a, a later period of eruption that kind of covers everything. Oh. It's really oh. snowing. What is that? What is that? Ooh. Floating. Small animals. Ooh. Too low with the Atalanta zoom on that. And then the camera runs away. Mm -hmm. There we go. Are we good for Delta, or do you want me to come up a bit? No, that's great. Awesome. More sediment here. Yeah. We let's have a look so at this. So this uh, a little flatter. This white coral. What do we got going on here? Oh, I'm hitting rocks. Go to zoom in here, please. See if there's any goodies. No goodies. All right. Thank Wait. you. So I'm going to do stars. one five zero degrees. Say again? I'm going to do one five zero degrees, like going sure. back. Great, yeah. Bridge now. So we have a big sponge. Let's step five zero meters bearing the one five zero degrees, same speed. The one with all the crinoids on it back there. There's the eel yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Do you want to zoom in on that? Right yes, thanks. Yeah, let's look for goodies. Yeah, we can zoom on this thing. Yeah, there's a fish as well. Yep. Double zoom. Dave's favorite. Let's do a double zoom with the preference oh, of the sponge. Oh. <laughs> it's a no. It's Why a no way. way. Beautiful. Not happy. If that would have been a great shot. <laughs> well, that's actually quite pretty. It's yeah. super beautiful. I feel like there's too many on there. Is is it going to make it so the sponge doesn't get as much They They clean, yeah, they clean up to get food oh. with the current. All right. Thank you. Is that sponge in the family Faraday? It looks a little bit frilly. <laughs> I'm not sure. More? What? <laughs> Peeking over the edge. Wow. Yeah. Into the abyss. Let's have a gander. That's in uh, Newfoundland. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little far from here, I guess. Video's going to swap out. Panos is going to sit in for a bit. Roger. Okay. Okay. 
sediment D. I feel like the rocks here Hello. are very uh, angular, now. right? Like yeah, these are sheet flows that have broken off. Look at this. It's incredible. Cool. Do you think the, this landslide kind of all happened at once? Yeah. And it was just like this massive like disrupt yep. disturbance. Oh boy, I like this cliff. <coughs> Morocco, could that um, sponge been a Tretopluera? Perhaps. Translate yet for a really good Atalanta shot here. Oh, yeah, yeah Trevor, this is gorgeous. You. you can come down a little bit on Delta. You can just see the layers years. of lava coming gotcha. through there. Oh God, let me reach all the way over there. Yeah. <laughs> Do 48 things at once, please. Ooh, a cave? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You can come to a 10 meter altitude. 10 meter altitude? That is so Altitude's cool. Altitude's like 12 -ish? Yeah, if it's bouncing uh, 8 to 12 is fine. Roger. I don't think I can fit in here. <laughs> there's, uh, not, there's not many places to go. I feel like it just ends right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. Also, don't take ROVs in caves. Do, uh, uh, <laughs> we can't that's that's one question I wanted to ask. <laughs> it, it is possible to do cave exploring with ROVs? It is, but uh, it's not recommended. Unless you're okay with losing it. Uh, Speaking of, where is, where is Herc right now? He's just hiding behind this little cliff. <laughs> where are you going, you little Here, rat? Here's a thought. Can we grab a rock here? Yeah. No. <laughs> Even I won't do that. <laughs> Towards the top, maybe. We do have the uh, the big brow, the bumper bar, which is great for sampling on cliff walls, actually. You can kind of run it into the cliff and hold position. So if we're at the top and Atalanta's over the side, I'll take you up on that. <laughs> there are rest of the coral colonies. Hold, hold fast, yeah. 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 There we go. There's our shot. Uh, chat asks, are the lava flow layers that thin, or is this like a welded volcanistic material or other sedimented no, layer? What we were looking at, those were actually thick layers of lava. Thick? In case I miss it, keep an eye on your sonar too. We're definitely in the danger circle, Loaded, which is yeah. fine, but we just have to be very, very watchful of it. What is that? Because the altimeter tells you what's directly below, but not not what's angled in front. Yeah. Do you want me to come up on Delta a little bit? Sure. Do what Roger you feel comfortable that. with. I I feel comfortable with coming up a little That's bit. That's great. <laughs> 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 That's fine. Do that. I am looking at the sonar. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's the occasional boulder here, so you have to be aware of that. Ooh, there's a fish. And a shrimp. Dead the center in the cinema cam. All right, this seems pretty good. Great. I mean, we're still in the danger zone, but like... Less so? Less so. Yeah. All right, we'll do some ridge running. Look at these neat little shelves. Shelves? Shelves. 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 The Toronto Maple Leafs. Mm -hmm. um, chat wants to know what's the danger circle. <laughs> uh, uh, the thing that I'm currently in. One <laughs> second. <laughs> hey, uh, Rob. Yes. Are you serious about that rock? No. I was just pulling your leg. I mean, if there, I, you know, 
it would be interesting, but I'm just not sure how realistic it's going to be here. There's that little right, one just up top left screen. A little yeah, but that's not the one I want. Fair oh. enough. All right. Uh, we're getting kind of close. I'm just enjoying what the looks that? here. I'm, I'm just looking at the sonar. <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're still right. Not much in the danger circle now. Maybe a very slight blue. Yeah, yeah. Turn the gain up so it's more obvious. Roger that. Am I doing it? Did I do the wrong thing? Yeah, I think it was Herc that was making me a little nervous. Oh, yeah, Herc should be within the danger circle. <laughs> yeah, Herc is like, I'm looking right at the wall. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm surprised there isn't more biology on this wall, though. There's no current. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So. Thank you for you know, I was, If I was hovering like this near that other uh, wall, I would have been blown down slope faster than I'll get out. Like, yeah. there's no way I could have stayed here. So. I don't know why there's no current here, but there's no current here. Well, I mean, what it could be p a tidal tide related. Could be, yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, so can we explain the danger circle to chat now that I'm out of it? Actually, you're still in it, but a go ahead, Rob. <laughs> What's up? Mostly. We we could pull that up on the screen if you wanted to, Panos. The sonar. The sonar PC. So now the whole chat. Wood screen. Can be uh, with the satellite feed three. Sonar, sonar yeah, PC. Fine, yeah. Set like something kind of on the other side. Is that Herc that it's looking at? On the far side? Where are we looking? Yeah, like there's like a little something on the other side there. I don't know what that is. You're talking this? That thingy, okay. yeah. Uh, that could be the frame itself. The like Atalanta's of Atalanta, frame. okay. Hard to say, it's really hard to know, but uh, you were very that? close to ground, so it's probably ground. Okay. Yep. Annabelle, if you feel comfortable to explain, we yeah. have it up on set three, the Educate danger zone. The masses. Hello, the danger zone is the inner ring there that we, we look at the Trevor's, left sonar that's the herc sonar doing a, a ring around um we have herc sonar and we have atalanta sonar and all that light stuff Can you switch on me to there USBL with is the icon, uh okay. stuff the sonar is pinging off of so don't bother with a reset just switch if it the gets icon. within that circle oh, we okay. call it the danger zone zero beams because that means that there's potential that we could hit it if Thank we're you. not careful. <laughs> Which would be bad. Hit yep. it as in rocks? Rocks, yeah. yeah. The old, the old push core sample with Atalanta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not my favorite activity. <laughs> Thanks, Annabelle. We can switch back SAT 3 if you want. I'm just doing a watch change of video. Okay. Look at those layers. Any of these rocks tip your fancy? Yeah, let's get one. I mean, if you see one that you can get here, because this is all stuff that's okay, from this go. area. I'm going to try for the stuff just right of center. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. No, wait, come back. Oh, I need that. <laughs> come back. Come, ooh. Oh, that's oh. cool. That oh. is oh. so cool. <laughs> Oh, look at oh, the cinema cam. Look at the, the tumbliness. You're really wedged in that corner there, aren't you? Let me just get this vehicle stuck. That's fine. <laughs> Making me nervous. <laughs> and I don't even know okay, what about. Okay, come full wide on Atalanta, please. <laughs> Roger. And bubble Whoop. on craft. Bubble on craft. Life on the edge. Yeah, no kidding. I'm going to try this thing. Life yeah. in the wedge. Down cam. Down light. I don't know sure. why I said that. Um, would it? Yeah, rejected. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Do you want this oh, one? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, let's get that. See if I can do it without dropping it. It's not too big either. Um, it's pretty crumbly. No, it's, it's, this will be good. It's, I mean, it's a lava flow. Okay, it's I'm coming up. Really different than the other things we've seen. So I was gonna ask. So is this different than the other collections we've made? It, it's uh, probably subtly different, but I mean, I can actually see it's a lava flow here. I mean, it's really, really interesting. Yeah, and it's a lot flatter than the other stuff. Yep. We've collected. Data, sample number. This is sample eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Thanks. That was tremendous, Trevor. Thanks. Well, it's yeah. not in the box whether, yet. Don't whether thank you, me yet. Whether you get it in the box or not, that was still impressive. Snaps. Uh, do yes. you want this to be in the starboard side? Probably yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do 
these buttons, and then you can zoom in, please, Dave. Um, so just a oh, reminder about the floating coral. Oh, a little tiny baby page. coral. Now that's angular. <laughs> yeah, but it, does the brown on it? Well, All that right. may be from just Come where all the stuff it was attached Is to. Is that it. a little Victorgia on there? It could be. We'll never there know. There is an another opioid as well there. Why will we never know? Uh oh. <laughs> what? Uh oh. There we go. I said we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I thought you dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just, uh... Do we feel like this could fit in F? There are two rocks in there. Hmm. Let's open it up and see what happens. I gotta get a little bit ahead because I have to secure yeah. the thrusters, so... Roger, do you want me to come up on Delta or just leave it as is? Uh, you can stay there. <laughs> and if not arm. F, you're free to try <laughs> anything that. but E. <laughs> <laughs> looks very <laughs> silly. <laughs> little arm. I'm I'm trying to be on <laughs> best move too. So Rock. Silly. What's that? I said I'm trying to find your bio on your best move too. That sounds fine. Thank you. Oh, uh, you know what? That's not going to work at it's all. It's your pet rock. <laughs> I have to come for a landing, I think. Uh, let's go right here. Uh... Bonk. Whoops, not my smoothest landing. That's okay. Let's do... Ugh. Okay, let's do this one. Alright, if you watch your delta, which is fine right now, but just keep an eye on it. Can I have a uh, box open, please? Box open. Roger. And there's that coral sample, even more. Keep going. Ooh. Let's see, is this going to fit in a small one? Let's keep going a little bit. I don't think it will, but let's just check. Do you have a small one open? We've got rocks in all of them. Okay, then I will put this in F, Foxtrot. Oh, what? <laughs> Do that twice? No way. There, there we go. go. Oh, oh, come on, you. Yeah. Ugh. There, there you go. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, you made Rob so happy. Made me pretty happy, too, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Delta is remaining pretty consistent. Great. Just hanging out. Okay. How what am I doing? I'm doing this button. Rob, how thick Yippee. do you think those sheet oh, we flows can were? Yep. Thanks. Sounds good. I'm turn this one on. Box is closed. I mean, it's, it's a little tough. I mean, they were very thick. I mm -hmm. mean, it looked like there were little layers in it. But I mean, they could be meters thick. Let's step another five zero meters. Same thing. Thanks. What number was that, Maraki? That was eighty-eight. Great. Gauge check, please. Oh, oh my gosh. Fish on a There's plate. A, can't believe uh, this. Not a wisteria, but a sponge that sounds like wisteria. Oh yeah, it's a walteria. Walteria. With a squat lobster. With a squat lobster. Yeah. You can Where? see that. Do you want it? Uh, uh, let's check. It's not the one I'm I'm looking for, but you just passed it. Oh, you're going too far. Too far. Okay. Yeah, it's back to the left. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yep. Lasers are right under it. Oh, I see it. Uh, Sorry, I don't have the ability to circle things. You can take bubble, yeah. Might ask for it back, but... Can we have a zoom there, please? We've got a couple of them, maybe. It's off your rights. <laughs> you see squatties on there? No, off your rights. Oh, uh, okay. My bad. Where is little red? And I'm switching this back to the Where's red. all shrimp? Okay. Sure, and you can do a reset. It could be uh, barnacles. Okay, come by, yeah. please. 